is called the tax flight, and we are tracking it for you on opening bell. Take a look at this. Residents of Wyoming enjoy a 6.9% income tax rate, while in New York, on average, income is taxed closer to 12.5%. With more on this, we are joined by Travis Brown, author of How Money Walks, and Tim Spees joining the conversation on taxes. Travis, good to see you. Why are we seeing such differences across the country in terms of taxes? Well, we know that taxpayers have a real choice, unlike the federal taxes you were talking about earlier. There's a real choice about where you protect and use your income. And for example, there are nine states across America that put no price on work, no personal income tax. And we know from, in this case, a Walt Hub source that taxpayers prefer those destinations. So, so that's, that's why you, you wrote the book, How Money Walks. I mean, the bottom line is money is mobile, and if it is not treated uh, fairly in one area or it can be treated better in another area, people will move out. And that's exactly what we're seeing over the long term. We have now, thanks to IRS taxpayer data file records, we can look at that and track it uh, for all those low-tax states. The states like Florida, Nevada, Tennessee, and Texas that don't put a price on work are gaining, over an 18-year period, 14.2% of residents and income from others, while those high-tax states, the reverse, is showing a loss over the 18-year period of 8.8%. Tim, what about that? Do you, do you see clients looking closely at tax rates on a state level and actually behaving differently and you know, moving out, moving money because of those rates? Unequivocally. Yeah, I think a recent study by New York State, Albany, they forecast we've lost about 500,000 residents in the past. This is a net number, by the way. Wow. Uh, New Jersey, not far behind it. Keep in mind, California in 2013 incepted a 13% state income tax rate and remember these rates are before property taxes right so the property it, taxes are so high also. correct right right you look like a, a place like Westchester highest in the United States so the point is do people look at this especially as they get older and their children are older and there perhaps might be no real need to stay in a particular state absolutely there's a flight yeah and states like Florida Nevada and others are certainly capitalizing better climates there's so many reasons why uh, and considerations why people do this and and Travis Governor Cuomo came on the show a couple of weeks ago and basically said to us we know that you know we, we recognize that people are leaving and going to places like Florida and by the way it's not that tough to spend only 180 days in New York well, that's true. And despite efforts to try to keep business in the Northeast, we know the long-term trends suggest otherwise. There's been reports of a billion dollars of re residential real estate purchased just since the last mayor's election. We can look at the long-run trends for a state like Florida, America's biggest winning state here, a gain of $95.6 billion of adjusted gross income from those other states in red. And we know that that equates to $10,000 a minute. To right. Florida. If, if I could point out, it's very interesting because you look also where I mean, New York City is growing in population, okay, and a lot of it's foreign nationals. Uh, it, it, what's not counted in, in these figures, however, on the flight, the, the flows are um, immig immigration, which means that's got to be on the table. If, if there were legalization prospects and immigrants uh, being here paying taxes, Mm. Uh, you could see you could see a tremendous shift. One more reason to have immigration reform. Uh, it's it's an observation. Yeah. What about that, Travis? Well, we pulled up the uh, just one of the demographics that you're looking at across America, and it shows that you know, that's a very important issue for a lot of reasons besides taxes. But we know that if we want to see national growth in the 3 and 4% range, it has to come from the states contributing to that. Texas is doing it across America. Other states are not growing at the same pace. The, the Tax Foundation sent me an email last week basically saying that in 2014, Americans will pay more money on taxes than they will on housing, on food, and on, on a clothing combined. I mean, we talked about how, you know, the, the tax bite this year is, is bigger than, than past years, but they're, they're really, that's, that's the majority of income going. Well, uh, well, again, I mean, some of our clients, we had discussions last week over the weekend, the, the, all in with states, uh, and when I, forget real estate taxes. They're paying on an income tax basis, uh, all in, Obamacare tax, 0.09, somewhere close to 52%.
Yeah. 52 percent. And that's not only that's not the, an unusual rate. That's not an unusual rate. And that's not even the highest earners. Right. More than 50 percent. Travis, wh which states are the worst states in terms of high taxes? Well, you mentioned California earlier, and they certainly have gone the opposite direction. Uh, putting a price on work at the state level from 10.3 percent all the way to 13.3. That is now America's highest uh, threshold on work. Right. But the reverse of this, there's a lot of things changing. For example, in the energy market, we can see states like North Dakota coming thanks to oil and gas opportunities, personal income rising, l low unemployment, the uh, references to the digital prairie. So there's a lot that can shuffle over a fairly quick period of time. And we're seeing that, that in the patterns. Really, really great observations. Uh, Travis, thanks very much. Travis Brown, how money walks. Really appropriate. Tim Spees, great to have you on the program today. Thank you, Thank Thank you, you so much. Tim, Travis, we'll see you both soon. Coming up